Now, I'm here to remind y'all about a few things that seem to have been lost in all this DNA mess. Out of respect for the family of Hannah, Abigail, Dean, I felt it was my obligation to make a statement here and make it today. Almost 20 years ago, I prosecuted a case in which Ms. Dean was brutally raped and murdered. Now, DNA testing, some material that's been in a box in some evidence room over all these years, isn't going to change that. Isn't going to bring her back. Now, we have got to remember that Hannah was only 16 years old. A child with her whole life in front of her. A life taken in the most heinous manner that I personally have ever seen. Senator Fox, what about the new DNA no, results? I can't make an official statement on this case since that's the purview of the uh, current DA who I am sure is going to be addressing some very complicated procedural questions that this new generation, this new breed of lawyers just seems to love to go on about. Now I'm here to remind y'all about a few things that seem to have been lost in all this DNA mess. Mr. Holden confessed to raping Hannah. Mr. Holden confessed to killing Hannah. And he was found just sitting next to her body. Now where I come from, we still put a lot of stock in those kinds of things. What about double jeopardy, Senator? <laughs> now, for all you uh, movie buffs out there, Mr. Holden was not exonerated. It was, uh, his case was not acquitted. So there's absolutely no possibility of double jeopardy here. His sentence was vacated on a technicality, which heaven only knows does not mean he's an innocent man. Thank you very much.